Hey, I just stopped by to check on the cows and that first calf heifer over there behind me is getting ready to calve. I just happened to walk up and see her tail poking out and she just wandered off by herself. She's just getting ready to calve so I'm just going to hang out here and make sure everything's okay and hopefully get some video of a new baby calf, the first one of the season. Stay tuned. Directions. There's the hole. Her water is just about to break. There, there's her water. There's a hoof. Right behind it. Hopefully, there's another hoof right there with it. Should be the two front feet and then a nose right behind it. So hopefully we'll see those two front feet come out. See one foot. I can't tell if there's another foot or not. But just keep watching. There's the other hoof. <clears throat> Once that pops out then we should get a nose not too far behind. Yep, there you can see the tongue sticking out there, so that nose is right there. If she doesn't get that calf pushed out here pretty quick, I'm going to have to go. That storm's getting close. She hasn't calved yet. She's down there, but the rain is starting to come in. So I'm going to have to go and come back after the storm and check on her. Hopefully everything goes okay. There's no complications. So we've got two feet and a tongue poking out, but no nose yet. It's looking like she's starting to struggle and not getting anywhere. So I am probably going to have to step in here. So you can see the nose and mouth are finally starting to poke out, but his head is kinked sideways, so it's not wanting to slide out real easy. So I'm having to pull for all I'm worth and then try to help work his head out because he's kind of stuck at this point. Come on, push. Oh. It's not very easy to pull on this calf because he is super slick. Well, we've finally made a little bit of headway.
Now we're getting somewhere. We're just about to get this calf out of here. Now I stopped pulling because I don't didn't want to just yank that calf out of there. I wanted to help let her go ahead and push it on out. But she seemed to still be having a little bit of trouble. So I gave just a tiny bit of help to get it out. She appears to be pretty tuckered out and still kind of struggling to get that calf the rest oh of the gosh. way out. I'll go ahead and step in here and I'm going to have to put the phone down here for a second so I can get both hands on there and go ahead and give him the last little bit and get past his hips there. stuck his head was turned a little crooked didn't want to come out she needs to get up here and start cleaning him off What is it? Let's see. It's a bull calf. Whew, that was not easy. I think because his head was turned a little bit crooked, he was kind of stuck there. So it took a little bit to get him out of there. Now she's a little bit hard on her. Anyhow, I, it's a good thing I didn't leave that. I checked the radar and the storm looks like it has slowed down a little bit so I just decided to hang around and finally this little booger came. She just walked off and left her calf. a big problem. She won't go near that calf. <clears throat> go on. She doesn't know it's hers. It is not good. not good at all. She won't even approach it. Smell it or nothing. So this is really bad. This heifer had that calf and now she's not paying one bit of attention to it. It's like she doesn't even know it's hers. So we're gonna have to try to get her in the corral and stick the calf in there with them and see if we can't help her come to her senses. So we had to catch her and snub her up to the post so this little calf could drink. Well, hopefully, after this she'll take to this calf. We're going to leave her locked in here. Hopefully we don't have to keep doing this. But Looks like he's starting to get a little strength. He's getting some milk in his belly. So hopefully the two of them together she'll start to mother up to him so we don't have to do this. 
much more. But he's getting the belly full. 